Today I'm not alone, I'm with my team. And if you'd kindly just give me a moment of your time to just introduce them to you. We've got Taps who's playing some beautiful melodies on the keys. We've got George and Crystal who are backing us up with some of the most inspirational vocals. And in case you and I have never had the privilege, my name is Balungil. I'm a power-packed professional motivational speaker and it's an honor to be here with you. Please do enjoy this piece. If you're not ready to lose, then it cannot be that you're ready to win. Because success lies in the acceptance of there being a possibility for loss. And I battled with coming up with a topic for today's piece. But in hopes of remaining neutral in my introduction, I'll leave it up for your own interpretation. The number one question to ask is what is my purpose? And most people will never get to know what their true purpose is because of their fear for loss. There's a certain level in life that you can never get to if you don't get over your fear of losing. And let me share something with you. See, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. Because it is through service where you learn what you're capable of. It is through service where you learn what you can and cannot do. Because business is about service. Big corporations invest millions into service. People will never tell you this, but good governance rests in service. And you can never become successful until you've learned how to serve others. Maybe the most suitable topic for today's piece should have been fears and failures, because this very conference is built off of failure. If you were to tear it down, from layer to layer and break it down to its core, the number one thing that you'd find is people who have failed, but who have never given up. Here is the secret to life. You can never become successful until you figure out how to serve. See, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but there's a man who, who created what is called the light bulb today, who had the courage to fail over a thousand times. His name is Thomas Edison. See, and my job as a speaker is to warn you of the 999 times that he tried over and over again and he failed. We have what is called the aircraft because of two brothers who never went to school but who had the courage to refuse to accept that there's something called the impossible. The beauty of being high up in the sky, charged by sophisticated engines and machinery. Our biggest problem as people is that we get so high up and we forget what it took to lift off. Phenomenal is taken from failure. Exceptional is found from failure. Excellence is found right after you figured out how to deal with failure. Extraordinary is taken from ordinary because it withstood the test of time. And when you face with adversity and you stand, what that does is it introduces us to the true you. I never understood what my job entailed until I failed. And now I realize that my job is to have an encounter with failure and interpret it for your benefit. Embrace the failing part because it's part of the process. What people are witnessing now is the end product of years of inner turmoil. And each and every time I grace the stage, I hold on to a mic, I soothe a piece. Because this comes from years of, of, of missed Christmases. This is missed New Year celebrations. This is missed birthdays all because there's this dream of one day doing it on a higher level. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a message that I'd like to leave you here with today. And that message is have the courage to fail. Have the courage to try. Have the courage to begin. Have the courage to want to shift and change 
that generational curse that surrounds your family. In your journey of wanting to succeed, the first brick that you're going to lay is a brick called failure. Because we build from failure. We construct from failure. We manufacture. See, most of us are molded, shaped, and forged from failure. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in officially opening this event. Welcome to the How to Serve Leadership Conference 2020. Please give yourselves a warm round of applause. Wow. Thank you so much. We've got so many speakers who are going to come onto the stage and to share with us their experiences to share with us their journey, to share with us what they went through in order to get to where they are in life. The worst thing to do is to come here, pay so much money, get into a room filled with people who are inspired and leave here the same person. Come here with a spirit of wanting to learn, a spirit of wanting to share, a spirit of wanting to engage so that you can move to the next level in your life. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our time. Please give a warm round of applause to my band. Thank you so much.